the late senior senator Isia Adeleke was uh, the former governor of the state. Until his death, was a serving senator and also one of the leaders of my party. And that was in 2014. And uh, he contested on the platform of my party for the Senate. He won in 2014. Thank you. Now, do you recall the 22nd day of April 2017? Yes. Okay. Can you tell uh, the Corona your itinerary for that? In fact, I brought my manifest for the day, which I want to give you. Okay. We can have that. Yes. That's my. I want to state categorically that I have to waive my immunity to appear before this panel because of the importance of this case. It's so sad the way the late senator passed suddenly. I'm sure the that to put that down. Yes, I want the coroner to know that. That I decided to waive my immunity and come here personally. We actually invited your excellency for this. Yes, I, I honored it. Instead of asking somebody from my office to come here. Yes. It is quite appreciated. It was captured. You will see that they wrote Deputy Madam Deputy Governor. It's a record. It's a record. Yeah. You see the all our items indicated. You don't have such mark. Yes, ma'am. When you have such, it means such an assignment was given to me by the governor. Because the governor was out of the country, usually when well, the governor has uh, several engagements at the same time, the office usually assigned me to cover some of such assignment for him. I'm sure the governor wants to put that down. Yes, because of my party, it was quite late. I got to put her at about quarter to six. Quite a lot of my party members received me by my car, including the late senator, Isiaka Adeliki. Okay, so you met him at the function? I met him at the function. He came to receive me with other party leaders that were at the party. Can we go? Yes. Before. Because I saw the humility in the late governor. I'm just a deputy governor who was once the governor of the state and also a serving senator for him to have received me by, by my car. I felt humbled. So because of that, instead of going to the seat prepared for me, because they had, they had prepared a seat, for the governor, and since I was representing the governor, that was a seat I was meant to be on. See, exhibited by the late senator, I followed him to where he was sitting instead of going to. They are not a seat, you know, because that would seem to be just mere arrogance. If he came to receive me, then I would march off him and go to the announced seat. So I followed him to where he sat. There were about uh, eight people on that table, between eight and ten, I didn't come there. But he was sitting at the head table. Remember those people that were on the same table with you? They were his friends. I don't know them personally. Okay. They were his friends. But one of them got off for me. 
the man sitting to his left got off for me when I got there. So I took his seat. Yeah, by the time I sat down, they were all eating. They were all eating a white stuff. I think it was either Semo or Panedian, but it looked white. All of them. All of them. All of them. On that table. Except the senator. When I got there, the senator was not eating. But about five minutes later, a woman brought a plate of rice. A lady brought a plate of rice. The plate of rice was uncovered. You know, I'll describe it. You know, the woman came in from his right. So she was facing me directly. She stretched her hand across uh, the side to his right to point the plate of rice at him. And he received the plate of rice from the woman. On that plate, there was uh, fried rice. And also, there was a mixture of jollof and white rice. So you could see some strands of okay, white rice. I want to take everything you are saying out, so you have to be very slow. That is, there was no meat, there was no fish. And the food was not covered. She just brought it like that. Can you identify the woman? Is this somebody you know or part of the, those people that were... No, I don't, you know, actually, that uh, senatorial district, I'm not familiar with uh, the politicians there. I don't know, I don't know a lot of them. Is she part of uh, those people that are doing the ceremony? I don't know. Okay. I don't know, I don't know the woman. I don't know anything about her. Okay. I just observed that she was the one that brought the food. Okay. So, the senator was using the spoon to turn the rice around. He was a bit hesitant to eat the food. Okay. Just... To me, I felt that serving a man of his status, the food would have been covered and nicely presented. But I don't know what had transpired before I got there. Maybe it was a food he was eating before, or maybe it was a fresh food. So, but it was brought uncovered. I think that was within five minutes that I got the food was probably brought in about ten minutes to six. About ten minutes to six. About ten minutes to six. Okay. So. The senator was just turning it with a spoon. He was, uh, he, was, he was a bit reluctant to eat it. Then jokingly I said, Let's say, yes, sir, I don't ask them to take the food they will if you don't want. Then he replied. And I will quote him in Yoruba. Then he laughed and said, ah, she to look at the Then she looked in that panel. Then I was just laughing. Okay, that's in English. What does that mean? Then he replied and said, is it because there's no meat on this food that you asked me to, re uh, to return it? Then I, I just smiled. Thank you. He then further said, The father said, that woman actually brought me a bowl full of fried fish. But these people on this table, he pointed at his friends. They all took the fish and left nothing for me. That was what he said, translating it into Yoruba. Over here, I want to hear you. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. I will not money call control if you go call it for me. And I was laughing. Because again, 
that depicted the type of man he was. A very humble man, you know, friendly man, you know, and uh, very caring for his friends. And they were all laughing, they were all laughing. They didn't leave any, any meat or fish for him to eat. Yes, yes. Then, maybe because of my comment, he then took his fork and stretched across to the man sitting to my left to try and take part of his fish. But it was fried fish. It was hard for his fork to penetrate the fish. Three fork spoons of the rice. Of the rice. Then he pushed it aside and it was taken away. That was the shock I had when I got when I when I read on the uh, on the internet that he passed the following morning because he was full of life. He was full of life. He looked very healthy, very agile, was cross, and was cracking jokes. To his right, brought a bottle of drink. I don't know, I don't know the type of drink, but he, he asked the man to put it on the table. There were other drinks on the table. I didn't drink, I didn't eat because maybe they've told them that uh, I don't eat at parties, they didn't even offer me any food. I was not offered any food, and I didn't ask for any food. But uh, because it was getting hit, and I know it would take me about one hour to get back to Shogo. The man that we went there to uh, celebrate his mother's uh, tennis, he came around, that's Honorable Amobi, to greet the senator. By that time, the senator had eaten. The plate had been taken away by the time Amobi came. I then beckoned at Amobi and gave him the package for his uh, mother's uh, ceremony. Okay. Jokingly, the senator turned to me. He looked at me while I gave Amobi his package. He said, Ah! Then I was just laughing. And at that point, I told him I had to leave. So he didn't drink anything while I was there. He didn't drink while I was there. And he didn't drink. Yeah, he just has a gentleman to put it on the table. I didn't drink while he was there, and uh, when I saw that it was okay, I told him I had to leave, and I'd given a mobile because I wanted to give. Then he said, Don't you say, Ah, it's a lot here. Only pay me, sir. The US Excellency have to go. He said, Ah, tobacco will be the machine will be gone. Then I laughed again, and I got up to go. He saw me again to my venue. He joined other politicians to see me to my vehicle. That was what time? That was about 6 o'clock. Because I got up at the dot of 6. At 6 o'clock, when I got up, he, he followed me to the vehicle. I don't know the name of the drink. A gentleman, well known to him. Maybe one of his aides, I don't know. And he said, okay, we will take me. And that was it. We are not so bound by the so you can you can actually lead <laughs> so that we can know what we are doing. Would it have been very much? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Something like juice. 
food was introduced, there were other drinks on the table. But the man just pointed the drink and said, it was on the table. I just got home at that point and I told him I was good and he saw me to my It was a brown bottle or was it a transparent bottle? I don't know, it was a bottle. It was a bottle. It was a bottle. It was not it was not like Fanta or Coke. Like spirits? I think so. I think so. What other people have you had any other person that you apart from his friends and the late seven? And your humble self, who else was on that team that is not his friend? I can, I to tell you the truth, many people were all his friends uh, because uh, none of my own people sat with me. My security sat behind me, Thank you. and my protocol, they were all behind me. So I was in total shock on Sunday. I was at no, at another program representing the governor again. Uh, the commissioner of the Apostolic Church in Oshogo. I was at that commissioner. I was in total shock uh, on Sunday morning. It must be around, uh, maybe around two hours before one. One of my party members sat next to me at that program. Then he whispered to me because it was in church service. Said, Akere informed him. Akere is one of our. Uh, a former commissioner. Yes. Akiri was sitting next to him. That Akiri just informed him that Senator Adeliki died. I said, why do people carry such ugly, wicked rumors? I said, Senator Adeliki was in Puta yesterday. That I left him at the party in Puta. There was no ill. Then I asked him, you know, was it an accident? Then he said he was not sure. So you didn't believe the news, right? I didn't believe the news. Then Akele decided to go to his house to confirm. Told the, uh, the gentleman sitting next to me that he received the test message. That he had to go to Senator Adelike's house to confirm. So he left the church. And when he got to the senator's house, he texted back to confirm that it was true. Then I was devastated. All of us. We were all devastated and we had to ask the, the general of the of the church, Dr. Olutola, to excuse us that we had to go to a day immediately because of the sadness. Yes. So we all left the church. Uh, the man sitting next to me was uh, Lowo Adibi, the first ACN party chairman. And also uh, Honorable Peter Babalola. And I think uh, Mrs. Oluga also was with me, Tai Oluga. She was sitting to my left. The news came on the internet that his body had been taken and he was being prepared for burial in his house. His body had been taken to his house. I was not prepared for burial. On our way, my chief detail just stopped because it was an accident. We stopped again. It was an accident on the road. We stopped to assist 
those that had the accident. Then when I was about to enter my car, my chief detail said there was confusion in it and that uh, the youth were already making bonfire on the road. That it was not safe for us to go to Ede at that time. The security report. So inside he got a security report. There was bonfire everywhere and that there was no way we would pass through to a day. That the youth were really protesting, burning tires, and that it was better to we went back. Do you have any other thing you want to say? No, that was, that was what happened. Thank you. So we all went back. You know, they reflected my picture at the party. And uh, in that picture, I was sitting like this, looking at the senator, while the senator was speaking to me. And I guess it was when he was uh, uh, discussing when he was uh, teasing me that it uh, was an orphan, and uh, that uh, I have no father, I have no mother, I'm an orphan, I have no mother too, my mother died. He must give me something. He was just joking, and I was laughing. So I read it on the internet that uh, there's a suspicion that uh, the government killed the senator. And then by the time I opened my WhatsApp, I got several WhatsApp messages saying, ah, they said the, the deputy governor was sent to poison Senator Adeliki. Ah. And people started calling me. My children were worried. My relations, even as far as the United States, they were calling me. Meanwhile, I was so devastated, shattered by the news of the senators that I couldn't even comport myself, you know, when I got the shock. By the time I got home, and uh, I said, why would they trivialize the senators' death with this horrible news? How would they trivialize the sudden passing of a man that we all care for, a man of peace, a man I saw the previous day that was lively, active. It wasn't my father's death ceremony that I went to celebrate. It wasn't my mother's death ceremony, it wasn't. In fact, I can tell you categorically that uh, Honorable Amobi and I are not that close. But I had to go to perform my official assignment to represent the governor. So how would I have poisoned the senator? I didn't serve food. I didn't cook food. It was not my party. Even if it were my party, I wouldn't be the one to serve the food. There were people around me to serve. I was devastated by even what I read. I said, people can't be serious. Then they said, uh, okay, I read in another place that uh, all sorts of things, I'm sure you all read the trash that were being circulated, you know, on various media. So I was so saddened. I said, no. We must know the cause of the death of this man. We must know the cause of the death of Senator Adelike. We must know the cause of the death of this man. The man was lively, was active. There was no sign of death. I mean, for somebody to die so suddenly, he would have been so ill. He didn't look ill. Well, rather than address the seriousness, the sadness, the gravity of the sudden passing of the senator, they were trivializing it. So 
So that rumor. Okay, you are telling me you are bothered by the unfounded. Yes, I was bothered. Because I... it is obviously not true. It can be true. I did cook any food. It was in my party. I was just wondering, why would people be so wicked? Why would they be so wicked? Why would they trivialize the death of a man like Senator Adeliki? That really bothered me. It really bothered me. And it saddened me. It's okay. And it still saddens me.